it's just heartbreaking for us. That's John Michael Watson, a Saginaw Heritage senior who worries that he won't get to play hockey games during his final year of high school because the state health department continues to push back the start of the winter sports season. All of us have been doing everything we possibly can. As you can see, me with my mask on right now, we all have masks. We all have our own water bottles and we make sure we're staying six feet apart and just doing whatever we can. Currently, Watson and his teammates are only allowed to have non-contact practices and can't begin playing games until February 21st. That's despite winter contact sports playing games in 38 other states, including our border states, Ohio, Indiana, and Wisconsin. We aren't getting the same opportunities as other, other kids in other states. And we don't know why, and we can't really, they don't say why. The Michigan High School Athletic Association is advocating for kids to play, citing recent data they say overwhelmingly proves that contact sports does not lead to COVID outbreaks. That data is based off the health department's COVID rapid testing program used during the end of the football season that saw nearly 30,000 tests be administered and 99.8% came back negative for the virus. This isn't political. This is this is about kids getting the opportunity to do what they love to do. The Heritage Hockey team plans on making their voices heard. Bamberger says the team will take part in the Let Them Play Michigan rally at the state capitol in Lansing on Saturday. Reporting in Saginaw, I'm Jason Fielder for TV5 Sports.